Continuing on our journey at the research symposium with another wonderful nursing major, Miss Emma. So tell us a little bit about your project. Um, so my project is about the NIH uh, stroke scale, which is the National Institute of Health scale that is used for stroke patients at primary stroke centers. Um, so in the emergency department at Bridgeport Hospital, they're required to perform this scale on all their stroke patients, but it can be pretty difficult to score and very counterintuitive for um, certain providers. So um, I developed a tool that would talk about um, tips and tricks and some of the rules that nurses should use to score this scale so that they can get the most accurate and consistent results. Wonderful. It's really impressive. Tell me a little bit about what inspired you to dive into this research. If there was one specific instance or maybe an influence of faculty member. Um, so when I was in the ED, I was speaking with the nurses there and asking them kind of what they've been struggling with. And it was it's towards, you know, the end of the pandemic. And for the last two years, they've had to use this stroke scale a lot more often in the emergency room because the patients who would normally be in the ICU who require the scale very frequently were staying in the emergency department because there were no ICU beds. So the emergency department nurses weren't necessarily trained to use the scale properly and didn't go through the certification that ideally a clinician should have before they use the scale on patients. So I thought it'd be really helpful to give them a tool that would help them to make sure they're scoring it properly and getting consistent results. Really interesting and really important. Um, so diving into your takeaways, can you give us a top few takeaways from the research that you conducted here? Yeah, I think a big takeaway is just knowing the tools and the assessments that you're doing and how they're supposed to be scored for any assessment because it's really important that these standardized tools are um, kept consistent throughout and that each patient is scored in the same way so that you can make sure that your outcomes are going to align the best with how the scale is supposed to be used. Sure. Let's talk about um, faculty involvement in your project. Did you work closely with any specific professor um, to conduct this research? Um, for This research was part of my capstone project for the nursing school. Um, so my professor for the class for transition was Dr. Renz, who I've had about four classes with. Um, so we have a pretty close relationship. And my instructor for overseeing Bridgeport Hospital, Genevieve DeFonte, um, she helped me develop this topic and, and really hone in on the research. So it's Wonderful. very helpful. Let's talk about the research symposium now. We're here today. You're able to show off all your hard work. How has it been presenting to classmates in the Fairfield community? It's been really cool. I think this is a really interesting event because you get to see like what people's interests are and um, the culmination of everyone's time here at Fairfield and for especially for the seniors. We've worked so hard these last four years and it's great to see everyone um, come together and just celebrate like all the things that we've learned so far. Absolutely. Last but not least, what's next for the research, the project, and most importantly, you? Um, so this project, I don't believe that I'm going to be working in an emergency department, but I do think that I can take a lot of the things that I've learned and bring it to my future research um, because I do think I want to work in some sort of research capacity in nursing. So I think that's my next steps. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I hope to be in maybe the Boston area and do a little bit uh, more research in the future. Well, your hard work has certainly paid off. Congratulations Thank you. and thanks so much for sharing with us. Thank you.